we're in this oversold condition within this downtrend channel and then we get this big wide spread down bar that breaks through support into the oversold condition and what are your thoughts on the volume when you see this print what are your thoughts on the volume yeah it feels climactic doesn't it exactly what i'm thinking we get we close off the lows we can draw a trend channel coming down like so you know we were coming into some kind of um climactic oversold condition within the mini trend channel and the macro trend channel uh, bearing in mind that i was short from up here when this occurs cover yeah good we had a good move to the downside next bar poor buying and then this bar what do you make of this very small bar with very low volume what are your thoughts here in an air of this climactic bar almost like no supply agree there's no real selling force here at all and then we push on up and then we dip down to reverse and close firm and for the first time at this level in this oversold condition what's the market found on this bar what's the market found it's found a bit of buying yeah okay nothing to do here but it's definitely found a bit of buying we kind of take off and what are your thoughts on this bar when you have these high volume bars or these big widespread bars you've got to ask yourself what does the bar achieve well i'd say it manages to try and break above the high of the climax yes it closes off the highs but wouldn't you say that's a pretty good attempt it shows two things it shows a there are active buyers in the market they are able to pull it all the way up here but it also shows us that sellers came in and they closed it off the high so they might be defending this area yeah kind of a twofold question nothing to do here i'm just walking you through my mind's eye here we come down hit support here still still a little bit of volume but analog wise it's not as good and then here what's this bar yep a spring we dip under the loads of the climax to reverse and close firm with a popping volume on this spring i entered on the close why because i was expecting a rally this would be t1 that's t2 that would be t3 i'm very much well aware of that how the market is coming down within this reaction we break down here we break down here there's good selling in this wave down it's the best selling wave that arguably we've kind of seen within this trend we free fall over here at the beginning why i like this selling is because it halts breaks down halts breaks down halts it breaks down you know there are active selling participants here whilst the market is still trying to rally and another little bit of observation of why i traded the spring here is this breakdown if you know this breakdown bar we come up to here and test this breakdown the breakdown bar we actually come higher above that climactic bar to test so on this spring bar i bought limited contracts and there is also shortening of the thrust in the lows coming into this um, into the spring who said that very good david so let's manage this trade and by the way this is a counter trend trade we're all aware that although i have target projections it's unlikely to get there but you never know this is just a counter trend trade that's all it is because it's obvious climactic bar bit of testing we spring and what's this very next bar after the spring look at the volume yeah it's a little test dips down to close it's not a lack of demand it's a lack of selling you will never ever analyze the market from a from a demand perspective after a sign of strength you always look for selling because the demand has proved itself in the bar it's the sellers that need to prove themselves so this is poor selling okay it's a little test bar and we push it up okay feeling good this is quite a good resolution and we look at this bar it's better than all the buying bars in this area wouldn't you say off to a good start 
And then we come to here. Now, I'm aware of this level. Support, support, support. It's been acting over here. We break down, push it up, come down. What do we see on this bar at this level? Closes off the highs. Yeah, we see some selling. Partial cover here. What do you think I should do with a stop? This is a counter trend trade. I have to be aggressive with trade management here. Again, it's part of the framework of when you're taking counter trend trades. We've come to first resistance. Think of this logically. Last time we rallied from here, broke above here, we're coming here. However, we come back down. So this level is still in play because it managed to contain price. And we come from breaking through here, coming back to make a lower low. I'm well aware of this level. Then we spring and then we push it up on these three bars. All right, so this is a, this is a good attempt to rally, right? We, we're springing and then we come to here, boom, we see selling. Oh, something's off. My spider spent sense is going off instantly. Why can't we push on up here like this? Why are we seeing selling straight away at this level? Be very mindful of your stop. Dip down to reverse and close firm. Okay, we're holding here. Now can we push on up? And once again, what do we see here on this bar? Yep, selling. Once again, and now we have something. So you move your stop under that bar. You want to protect anything that you have. This was only, what was it, 24 ticks from here to here, but it's struggling at your first resistance. So if you're taking the counter trend trade and it's struggling at first resistance, you have to manage it aggressively. What do you think the market is hinting here on this bar? Does it really look as if we're going to push on through here up to T2? No. Target 2, it doesn't. But you never know. So you put your stop under here. And we see a popping volume here, by the way. Okay. Now we get a breakout. Is this a good breakout? Not really. Do we feel a bit more confident here? All I'm doing is just going through the thought process of what I'm thinking in the moment. Yeah, it is low volume on the breakout. Well, perhaps, could we argue, we come here, we see some selling. We come here, we see some selling. Could we potentially be absorbing some supply to the left? Yeah, okay. It's the highest close. We give it benefit of the doubt. Stop in the same place. Halting again, and then boom. And that was that. It struggled at the lower level of resistance. That tells you to be aggressive. The counter trend play didn't really work out. I know that, you know, we've got 25, 26 ticks, but you never know what the market is going to give. Another day, it could go to T2. It could go up to here. We don't know. However, the selling here, like I said, we have to be aware of the selling. It'd be too easy for me just to talk about this up thrust. Can change a character bar, best down bar on this whole down wave. We're overbought up here, etc., etc., etc. This. Too easy to talk about. Yes, we get a good move. But it's the counter trend play and why and how to manage it and your expectations and the fact that we're holding here, et cetera, et cetera. I think I've been gifted in my trading career, career Roman. I remember, Absolutely. I remember I sort of broke through as a trader when I became very con incredibly consistent. It was around mm -hmm. 2015, 2016. And the average true range could have been 14 points. It's very, very, very low. And I'd be, I would take three or four points out of the market. And I was happy, Roman. In my mind's eye, I still have it. I still have that kind of bias where I just have extreme gratitude for any trades, any points that I extract from the market. But people coming, in, coming into trading, say, the past year or so with this volatility, and there's 20, 30, 40 point moves, let's be honest, more or less every day. When the markets contract again, which inevitably they will, those traders are going to struggle. So it's kind of served me from the purpose of gratitude. I just I absolutely that. understand. Yeah, absolutely understand what you're talking about. Let me give you yes, <clears throat> kind of like the same, like as a confirmation, I want to echo your sentiment here. 